Explosive ammo, overpowered mechanic or wasted money? Let's find it out. First of all, some players still believe that explosive ammo is a one-shot kill, at least on some ranges. But no, it's not. It's just an ammo with a higher damage and few additional effects. For example, it knocks the target down, and actually target gets additional damage from falling. But before we will talk about this in details, let me tell you where and how you can get this explosive ammo. You can obviously craft it, to do so you have to go to fans and buy for $1000 explosive express pamphlet. It's only available on a level 90, so it's a tool for a high level players. Once you're gonna read the pamphlet, you will be able to craft explosive ammo for revolvers, pistols, rifles and repeaters. And to craft it you're gonna need regular ammo for this weapon and animal fat, where you can get animal fat. From fat animals obviously, like boars, bears, pigs, beavers and most importantly ducks. You can carry up to 10 explosive armor rounds for each weapon type. By the way, if your level is lower than 90, go check your mailbox. Rockstar loves to give this explosive armor to players, so maybe you have a lot of them already. Now let me tell you some facts that we found out while testing explosive armor. First of all, different weapons deal different damage with explosive armor. For example, here you can see damage that Lancaster Repeater deals with explosive armor from the close distance to the target with level 3 health tonic, no ability cards used. And now same distance, same conditions, but Springfield rifle, so as you can see damage is higher. If we will be using express ammo, for example, the difference between these two weapons will be almost the same. Also just like with any other ammo type, damage for explosive ammo drops with the distance. Here you can see tests for Lancaster Repeater and Springfield rifle on the lock on range, and damage is much smaller, it's not even enough to fully remove this fortified health bar. Without any defensive ability cards or tonics, from what we've tested, it seems like for most weapons explosive armor is a one-shot kill inside of the lock-on range. And if the distance is high, it's not a one-shot kill anymore in most cases. Sniper rifles are the only exception here, for them damage is the same on any range, and I'm talking about sniper rifles only, Carcano and rolling block rifle, not like regular rifles or repeaters with a scope. It doesn't work like that. Next question is, does explosive armor deal higher damage with the headshots? And the answer is yes. Take a look, Lemar revolver on a close range against level 3 health tonic. Body shot, we are fine and now headshot. You see the result. We've tested this on different types of weapons and yeah, headshots are dealing much more damage with explosive armor. By the way, hitting arm or leg will deal less damage than hitting the chest. You can see it now, with the same distance, same weapon, same tonic, we have the different damage. But here is something really interesting. For example, if we are using never without one ability card and someone is making a headshot in the upper side of our head. The head is falling down, but we're not losing any health, because that's how never without one ability card works. But if someone will make a headshot with an explosive armor, we will get some protection, but we will still get a lot of damage. Actually, with some weapons, like Carcano for example, there will be so much damage that we will still die. But at least it protects from the headshots with the pistols. And since we are talking about ability cards, yes, damage ability cards cards are increasing damage for the express armor. You just saw the damage without any ability cards and now my opponent will be using two damage ability cards. As you can see there is a big difference in damage. And of course if you have some defensive ability cards you will receive less damage from explosive armor. Here you can see Lancaster with explosive armor against tank build. So if we're talking about damage, explosive armor is pretty similar to other ammo types, but it obviously 
obviously has higher damage, but still not enough damage to destroy higher level tonics even without defensive ability cut. So here you can see tests with Kirken rifle and explosive armor against level 2 and level 3 tonics. But explosive armor is still extremely strong in PvP because of this knockdown effect. And not because of the fallen damage, it's not important, but because of the fact that you will not be able to act for almost 3 seconds. And obviously you will be an easy target during this time, so your opponent will have a huge advantage after hitting you with explosive armor from any distance. So yeah, explosive armor is still pretty good in PvP, not as overpowered as it used to be at the beginning of beta when it was no damage reduction for this type of ammo and not as overpowered as dynamite arrow but still really strong. On the other hand outside of pvp there is no use for this at all. It obviously ruins the pelt quality for all animals and for legendary animals it ruins it so bad that you cannot even skin them. Yeah we've actually tested it and ruined this legendary panther because of size. Actually, there is one situation in which you might want to use explosive armor in PvE. I'm talking about legendary bounty target mission, Shepard Virgil Edwards, because he has this armor and it takes a lot of shots to defeat him. But on the other hand, it doesn't knock him down and it still takes a lot of shots even with explosive armor and Kirken rifle, so I don't think that it's necessary to use explosive armor even in this situation. Conclusion, explosive armor is totally useless in PvE but gives you good advantage in PvP. Whether it's worth it to spend your time on gathering materials and crafting it, I'm not quite sure. On the other hand, if you're using it only occasionally just to fight back random griefers, why not? Let me know in the comments how often and in which situations you are using explosive armor. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. До свидания.